Okay, so we have a question from a subscriber today, and he's asked me, how do you evade distractions in your life? Now, there's always going to be to some level and some extent distractions in your life or distractions out in your environment. You can't necessarily get rid of every single distraction. What matters is what you actually pay attention to, because regardless, you know, even if you walk down the street, you're gonna see a lot of different things. In your life, you're going to encounter or pass through a lot of different things. It's really up to you and what you choose to engage with and what you choose to actually pay attention to. Now, saying that, of course, should you change your environment, you will limit the amount of distractions that you have or you will be able to eliminate a lot of potential distractions. In today's world, of course, we have mobile phones. So this is one of the biggest distractions that you will have in your life. And if you can kind of eliminate the potential you have to see the distractions on your phone, you know, if you're reading the news every day, so, what are your habits is really going to be an, uh, an indication of where your distractions are coming from because what is a distraction you know it's something that you pay attention to or something that is grabbing your attention that isn't conducive to what you want to be thinking about or what you want to be doing and so distractions come in the form of thoughts they come in the form of activities they come in the form of something that you're giving your energy to. So analyze what you're doing throughout each day, whether it's using your phone, whether it's watching the news, whether it's talking to certain people, everything that's your in within your environment each day and see, is this something that I want to be part of my life? And if it's a no, then you remove it. Or, you know, let's say for example, they're friends, you don't necessarily want to be rude and get rid of your friends. You can just limit your time with them because what you will begin to think about or our thoughts are based off of what we spend the most time <clears throat> interacting with you know if you watch a movie right before bed about a certain topic you're likely going to have dreams about that movie with a certain topic or if you're at work all day for a long shift and you go to sleep and all you've been doing all day is just working nothing else you're probably going to be dreaming about work you're probably going to be thinking about work or studies so understanding this you can influence your thoughts by influencing your environment and what you're actually choosing to pay attention to each and every day. Sometimes it's harder to get rid of certain things, sometimes it's easier. But number one is going to be simply removing and changing your environment. Next, so like I said, you're not gonna be able to get rid of every distraction, but you can kind of reduce the amount of distractions you have in your life. Then it's just going to be, what are you focusing on? There's a lot of noise, but you can choose to have tunnel vision in this life. You can choose what you focus on. I can, you know, be out and about and someone can be having a conversation. I can choose where I want to listen to that conversation a lot. If it's a negative conversation, I can just, well, one, using the environment, move away. Two, choose to think about something else. Maybe put some headphones in, listen to some music, or just give myself something else to focus on. What you choose to allow to be a thought, for example. Now, negative thoughts, the thoughts that you don't necessarily want, thoughts about things that aren't serving you. Now, of course, remember the fact that I said these thoughts can be coming from your environment, but nonetheless, if you're having thoughts that you don't want, if you're having thoughts that are distracting you, choose to replace them with another thought. You know, everyone gets negative thoughts sometimes. Everyone gets thoughts they just don't really want to think about. You can choose to then add two more thoughts after that of something you do want. Or if you have a thought of something going the wrong way, you make two more thoughts about how it's going to go the right way. Now this is kind of getting off topic. But yes, how do you evade distractions? Number one, change your environment. Change where and what you're interacting with each and every single day or reducing what you're interacting with that isn't a part of what you want to be a part of your life. Secondly, just choosing how you pay attention to it. And so of course, by your environment, you're going to be pay attention, paying attention to it less, but also just by being disciplined with your mind. It's not too difficult, it's not too much of a complex thing. A lot of the things that we need to do are just simple, you know, move into a different environment and change the way you're thinking. He also asked me, how do you choose what bad habits to get rid of first? This will kind of tie into the elements of distraction. One of the biggest things that's helped me in my, you know, path of self-improvement has been is finding out and being aware of, you know, who I want to be and what that actually means for me, what that actually is, what am I doing? You know, this person that I want to become, what do they do? And so if you're at all times or as much as you can aware of that, aware of who you want to be and where you want to be, 
you can kind of reverse engineer that and say, okay, what do I need to be doing to get there? And every time you have something that is, you know, potentially a bad habit or a distraction, you just, all you need to do is ask yourself, is this going to be conducive to this vision in my head that I have myself? That thing should be the most important thing in your life, the person that you're going to become. So you ask yourself, is this thing going to be a part of that life or not? If I continue to do this, will I get to where I want to be or not? And so I say this because reasons are the strongest thing that you will have, the strongest weapon that you can wield to combat your distractions and combat your bad habits. A strong enough reason will allow you to get rid of that habit. It will give you that push, that change in that motivation to get rid of the habit. Because normally when people try to get rid of you know, bad habits or they try and remove things from their lives that they don't want anymore, if they don't have a strong enough reason, they will find an excuse that is strong enough to keep it. So you need a reason that is stronger than the reason that you have to keep doing it, if that makes sense, or the excuse that you have to keep doing the thing. And so if your whole life's mission, life's goal is to become someone better and someone new and someone in a certain position in their life, someone that's doing X, Y, and Z, then maybe you need to cut out A, B, and C to get there. And so I don't know what that is for you, but you need to find out something that's so strong that every time you think about doing this bad habit, ask yourself a simple question, what do I want more? And usually that will give you the power and I'm not gonna say that it's going to be an E straight quick, you know, you going from doing a habit every single day to never doing it again. I did make a video about this, which I can put a link to, about, you know, actually using consistency and how to actually get rid of your bad habits and form new ones. So I'm not gonna to go too much into that here, but your reason is going to be your strongest thing. And so when you have that reason, then you can just pick any habit that is the most damaging or the most in opposition to where you want to be in your life and you start there and you just build on that. And like I said in that other video, I kind of give you the framework and how to actually get rid of that habit, but that's essentially what you're going to be doing. So I hope this video was helpful to any of you that are trying to evade distractions in your lives and for any of you that are trying to get rid of habits. Remember that you are in complete power and control of your life and it's up to you, you know, where you place your attention and sometimes yes you can't get rid of your environment completely maybe it's at home that these distractions are coming from or maybe it's at your school but do your best to remove yourself from that environment even within an environment you can choose to be in a part in a certain location or you can just choose if you really really can't change your environment you can at least choose where this environment is mentally and what you're focusing on mentally you know removing the distractions from your phone and just being in complete control and taking accountability and being aware of where you're placing your attention be it on the phone or in your daily life and then maybe replacing those things with you know the opposite of a distraction something that is part of what you want to be in your life you will begin to actually experience that change and now you're going to be actually you know living a life where you're focused on what needs to be focused on to get where you want to be i hope that video was useful and yeah, peace to the person who answered that question. I hope that was very useful to you too.